A and B enter into a joint venture, sharing profits and losses equally. A purchased 5,000 kg of rice at the rate of 50 per kg and B purchased 1,000 kg of wheat at 60 per kg. A sold 1,000 kg of wheat at 70 per kg and B sold 5,000 kg of rice at 60 per kg. What will be the final remittance? Final remittance we get from by preparing either B's account in the books of A or A's account in the books of B. Let us take A's account. Let us take in the books of A. In the books of A, A will prepare a joint venture account and A will also prepare B's account. This is in the books of A. We are assuming that it's in the books of A. So what would the joint venture account? A purchased 5000 kg of rice at the rate of rupees 50 per kg. So that's 250,000 to bank. 2,50,000. B purchased 1,000 kg of wheat at 60 per kg. This is B's account. B's account at post by joint venture. Amount is how much? We are talking about 1,000 kg at 60. So, 60,000. 60,000. Then A sold 1000 kg of wheat at the rate of 70 per kg. So by bank, he gets money, bank, 70,000. B sold 5000 kg at the rate of 60. So by B's account, we are getting 3 lakh. B's account debit to joint venture. So that's it. Therefore, what is the profit? We have 3,70,000 this side and we have 3,10,000. Therefore, we have a profit of 3,70 minus 3,10. We are talking of a profit of 60,000. A's share of profit will go to profit and loss account that is 30,000 and B's account also 30,000. B's account therefore credited by joint venture 30,000. So this is profit. B has to be given his profit. B has to be compensated for these expenses. This is his expense. But B has received 3 lakh. B has received 3 lakh. B's account debit to joint venture 3 lakh. Therefore, there is a balance of 2 lakh. 10,000. Entry being bank account debit to B's account bank account debit to B's account 2,10,000. Therefore, A will receive the money B will remit 2,10,000 to A. This should be the correct answer. B will remit 2,10,000 to A. This is in the books of A. The same account being presented again. Joint venture, wheat purchase was 60 lakh, profit was 30 lakh. On the other hand, on sale of rice, B received 3 lakh. Therefore, 2 lakh 10,000 will have to be paid by B to A. So, the answer, correct answer, that a remittance by B to A would be 2 lakh 10,000.
टू लैक टेन थाउजेंड इवन विदाउट प्रिपेरिंग द अकाउंट दिस कुड हैव बीन कंप्यूटेड सिंस वी हैव मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी डन इन अ वेरी सिंपल मैनर If we look at the question, we know that five thousand kg of rice was purchased at fifty rupees per kg, yeah, and we sold five thousand kg of rice at sixty rupees per kg. So, what was the profit made? Ten rupees per kg on rice. The profit made on rice is ten rupees per kg, fifty thousand. Similarly, in case of wheat, thousand kg of wheat at sixty rupees per kg. And sold at seventy rupees kg. Again, there is ten rupees per kg profit into one thousand kg being sold. Therefore, therefore profit of ten thousand on wheat. So total profit is sixty thousand. Share of profit is. Thirty thousand and thirty thousand. Having said that, we also know that B incurred sixty thousand cost for purchase of wheat. Share of profit we just computed is thirty thousand. B has to be compensated ninety thousand. On the other hand. B received, or B has to pay back three lakh since B received three lakh on sale of rice. Therefore, this difference of two lakh ten thousand we know has to be remitted by B to A. If we do not have to prepare accounts, some of these short questions can be tackled directly. without going through the entire process of preparing journal entries and ledger accounts we shall have practice more of them in subsequent quizzes 